Hi guys, it's Monica. I am going to share with you what happened when I stopped using the CBG oil on my mature skin. Stopped using it for like four days and I'm gonna share with you the results of those four days. Also, I'm gonna share with you a couple of products that were sent to me. Our anniversary clip, Jay and I just celebrated our 29th anniversary. We went out to dinner in a special restaurant and um, yeah, I went shopping for some bling. So I'll share with you the bling. And at the very end of this video, I'm going to share with you the most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sunrise. It's probably the most gorgeous sunrise I've seen this year. It's the only one I've actually gotten up to see, so. But anyways, we went camping at the beach and I got up super, super duper early and went down before, I mean, it was dawn, it was dark still. And I went down to the beach to try to catch the sunrise and oh my gosh, it's at the very end. I'm gonna do timestamps. So for those of you that don't wanna hang around for the whole video, you can scoot to the end. If you wanna see my bling, I'll put that in at the end too. And I'm just gonna share with you now basically what happened. So, I did, oh, before I do that, I, I wanna to talk to you about this. I got this Color Wow Dream Cocktail Carb Infused. Carb Infused, I'm like going, hmm. And this says that it is for fine, thin hair and instantly adds mass and volume. So, instantly adds mass and volume that you know called my name fine limp hair adds mass and volume i happen to like a lot of the color wow products i've used some of their other hair products i've used some of their root cover up i've used a lot of the color wow products and i really really like them this was sent to me complimentary from the company via the octoly network in exchange for a review so what you do is you put this on you your clean hair Although I, I will, to be very honest with you, I've used it on second day hair and first day hair. So it's clear, it's thick. So you wash your hair, but if somewhat dry your hair, towel dry, damp hair. I put this in my hands and I went from the roots up. I coated my hair from the roots up. And it says that this is heat activated. So then I took my blow dryer and I dried my hair. And it really, really was nice. Now, again, heat activated. So this isn't going to work just as a thickening serum that you put on or a mousse that you put on dry hair. You're gonna be you know, making sure that you're blow drying your hair or doing something with heat. So the first day I put it on and I put it all over my, my hands and into my hair and I blow dried my hair and I actually had a whole lot of volume in my hair. I couldn't believe it. I wore my hair down to work. I didn't put my hair up like I normally would, you know, put my hair up a lot. I wore my hair down. I got a lot of compliments. And the second day I dampened my hair a little bit and then I put it in again and I blow dried it and it really worked nice. I could feel an instant plumping with it. Carb infused. Hmm. That kind of really got me. So I've used this probably about five or six times since I got it. And I can tell you that I really am enjoying it. Long term, I, I think at this point in time, I would buy it again. I would buy it again because I liked, and I put it in my wet hair and I liked how it added volume to my, my hair without having to do a whole lot. So for me, this is a real, a real hit. I really like this and it was really awesome. The other thing that I got from Octolate, this is a plant, a thought, a, I cannot say that word, plant, a, a copper three, a copper three, a copper three, a copper three. Anyways, I'll link it. And um, this is rose geranium lemongrass. This is called Reset Organic Oil-Free Makeup Remover. To be honest with you, I've only used this with regular mascara, not waterproof mascara. So I put this on. It is watery. It is very, very thin solution. A nice, pleasant smell. A nice, pleasant smell. Nothing, nothing super strong. I put it all over my face. I rubbed it in, I massaged it into my face, into my skin, and all across my eyes. And it really, it really worked nice. Now, this is oil-free. If you like something that is really an oily balm, 
and I have a few of those. I have a couple of the coconut, I have the, the Clean It Zero. If you like something that's richer because you have drier skin, this might be too dry for you for all over, but it's perfect for taking off eye makeup in my opinion. So I really like this. Again, this was also sent to me via the Octoly Network, so I think that was pretty cool. The third thing that I wanna say is <laughs> like crazy. Eva Lom, oh my gosh. They sent me this. Now this was sent to me complimentary in exchange for review again from the Octoly Network. And this is a Radiance Face Mist. They actually sent me two of them, which I was really super surprised at. They're the same product, but two. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna, a fine, I don't know if you could see that. A fine, fine, <laughs> just sprayed it on myself. A fine, fine mist of hydration, of, of of actually just sort of like waking up your skin, if that makes sense. It was re it's really wonderful. So I use this when I went to the beach last weekend, Jay and I went camping on our anniversary weekend. I used this, I sprayed, I really, really liked it. Now, when we went away camping, I stopped using on the Thursday before we left the CBD oil on my face. Many of you have said, Monica, how do you know the CBD oil is making such a big difference on your dry, flaky, peely, icky skin? And I kept saying to you guys that it was really the only thing I changed by adding the CBD oil. Now I use the two CBD oils. I'm really enjoying the Maku, which is the higher dose. These are expensive products. They are, they're expensive products. Uh, no ifs and buts about it. I have never ever been one to say, you know, you have to have a high product, high pricey skin product. However, I will tell you, there is a big difference between oils and there's a big difference between CBD oils. So the Maku is the 5,000 milligram CBD oil. And I, when I use that at night, oh my gosh, my skin, I, my skin, I've never, ever, ever, I've been on Retin-A for three years. I keep saying I've got to do my three year update. I haven't done that. Been on Retin-A for three years. And from the time I started Retin-A on a pretty consistent basis, my skin would just peel and flake, peel and flake. And went, and sometimes I'd put makeup on and it would, I'd wash it off. I'd start all over again. I would exfoliate and wash it off. I always had a hard time with makeup, with foundation, because it would always kind of peel up a little bit in my skin. When I started using the face oil, I'm just gonna call it the face oil. I did start using the Flora and Bass. When I started using that first, I almost immediately, I think I said it was like within, on the second day I noticed a difference in my skin. I did. Anyways, we went camping and I said, well, you know, I don't, I didn't really care what I looked like. Well, I did care what I looked like. It was my anniversary weekend. I did care what I looked like. But I just really wanted to see how it did. So I stopped using it the whole time. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Saturday night, I washed my face and I could I could see peel like crazy. I did bring my Retin-A and I did use my Retin-A on my normal basis. I started to peel Saturday night. Sunday morning, my skin was a flaky mass. Sunday night, we went out for our anniversary on the 15th and I was like trying to hide it. There is no way, no way anyone would ever convince me that face oil has not made a huge difference on my flaky skin. And, and also, you know, when I have any kind of a blemish, it heals the blemishes quicker. It has helped dissipate, not eliminate my redness. So that's my little experiment with what happened to my skin when I stopped using the CBD oil. I went right back to Flake City and I didn't like that. So this I really, really, really like. I also, I'm not, I don't know if I'm gonna open this. I haven't opened it yet. I got an, a Balsamo handbag in. Oh, we'll see. Maybe I'll open it up. I got this in while we were gone. I haven't opened it up. Oh, because I haven't even looked at it. As you know, I love the story of this company. I really do. Oh my gosh. Beautiful scarf. <gasps> wow. Eyelash curler. I'm going to open all this up. So I actually think this is pretty nice that I was going to update my profile, I think, because I'm getting a lot of the bags that are very, very similar in the sense of 
going to work, which my profile says, hey, you know, I work full time. So it makes sense that I get bags that are more professional type of bags. Eyelash curler. Oh my gosh, I really, oops, these are stuck together. Looks like I've got a little, ooh, a little scissor. I have no idea what this is. I have no idea. What is this? Does anyone know? I wonder if it has something to do with, I will have to investigate, but oh my gosh, eyelash curler, a scissor, a little carry case. This is really nice. And the eyelash curler is really nice. A beautiful scarf. Look at the colors. The colors are really pretty. Oh, and let's check these earrings out. I don't know if you can see them, but what a pretty scarf. Oh my gosh, look how pretty that is. What a pretty scarf. And then the little tiny delicate earrings. I'm not too sure if you can see it. And cute, cute little, little necklace. I'm definitely gonna wear these, these a lot. I have no idea what this is yet. I think I'm gonna have to read the directions, but it definitely opens up. <laughs> and bag, this is really pretty. And there's, it's a zippered compartment. Room for your phone, room for your business card, little pocket on the outside. I actually like that. So anyways, now I'm going to insert a little clip of our anniversary so you can see what we did for our anniversary. And then I'm going to show you a little bit of my bling. <laughs> so where were you 29 years ago? Uh, at this time, I was in Hampstead at a wedding reception. Are you sure you were still in Hampstead at a wedding reception and at not at time? a hotel no. in North Andover no. having downed a whole bottle of mm. Dom Perrier and passed out cold on your honeymoon night? That was a few hours later. What time was that that you passed out cold? Probably around seven or eight. <laughs> <laughs> Today's our anniversary. 29 years she's put up with me and I've put up with her for 29 glorious years. <laughs> You deserve a medal. And so do you. Thank you. I was going to say, I deserve <laughs> I deserve a trophy and a medal and five medals and ten medals. Yeah, but you love me. Happy anniversary, Happy baby. Anniversary. So we're going into this really awesome restaurant, but before we go in there, I'm going into a jewelry store. <laughs> yeah, she's only got ten minutes, so. And um, I'll show you what I buy. Here's our appetizers. What do you have, Jay, honey? Silver? <laughs> there's mine. Nada would be very proud of me. And there's our view. The windows are dirty because the salt water from the ocean sprays up here. And this company reached out to me quite a while ago. I didn't answer them right away there. And then I finally answered them. I looked and I said, okay, I will take a look at this. But my policy is unless I actually try something, I'm not going to do a dedicated video. They're not paying me. They're just, they, I have no kind of affiliation at all. I think there's a coupon code, but they said, go ahead, pick out what you want on the website. Well, of course I picked out something. And um, the one, the something that I, th I picked out was like a Masonite ring, gold. And they said, oh no, no, not the gold stuff. So I went back and I picked out a ring. It comes beautifully packaged. And in, it, in the package is a, a little bit of a book that talks about the different bridal sets they have. And, you know, just the, they have some really fun stuff. They have some earrings, some necklaces, all sorts of really nice stuff and bracelets. So I took a chance and I said, well, I'm going to order this little gift bag, if you like. And it comes really secure in here. The Daisy Sterling Silver. And I didn't quite know whether or not how this was going to fit. My wedding band is a size six, my wedding band. I probably figured where this is a wider band, I would need a bigger ring. So I ordered a size seven. It's sterling silver. It has the cutest little daisies in here. And so it's a mixture of yellow and sterling silver and then the little daisies. And then of course the, the, uh, Diamondiques or whatever they are, the, the stones, the clear stones. And I just thought it was really pretty. I did. I thought it was really pretty. I thought, why not? Is I actually wish that I had picked a ring that looks very much like my own wedding set. I really do. Because I was thinking that 
you know, sometimes when I go away, I don't bring my rings, my good ring, but I could have tried to replicate uh, a wedding band set like I have. I got this. I, I mean, I think it looks really cute, but when I say it's big, it's pretty blingy. <laughs> it's pretty blingy. So I didn't get bling for my anniversary, but I got bling, thank you to Julia. I'm gonna link the website. I think they have a sale going on. I'll link the information. You follow the link if you're interested. I like their quality so far, but I will tell you that I could not even begin to tell you how this will hold out because I haven't worn it long enough. I still have the tag on here, and I wanted to keep the tag on for a reason because if I didn't want to keep it, I wanted to be able to send it back. So I really like it. And the price point is pretty, I think it's a pretty decent price. So if you want some bling and you don't want to spend a fortune, or you just want another wedding set so that when you travel, when you go away somewhere, your good stuff is home and you don't have to worry about it, I think this is perfect. And I bet you if I got, and my ring is pretty common in the sense that if I got a, a something very close to this, I bet you no one would even know the difference whether I had my real one on or if I had my Julia on. So I like the quality of this so far. I actually like the selections that they had. And I just wish that I had picked a bridal set. But in the beginning when I was looking at it, I'm like, going, I don't want a bridal set. No, I want something that's more, that's different. And I didn't want to have, and this is going to be um, kind of like a weird thing to say, but I didn't want to have like a cocktail style ring because when I think of the cocktail style ring, which of course this probably looks like a cocktail style ring, when I think of the cocktail style rings, I think of my mother. My mother had diamonds, big diamond cocktail style rings that was really the style for her. And, um, you know, I do like pearls. I like pearls, I like diamonds, and then I like my big stuff, my big earrings, my in your face, this and that. I, I'm pretty well, well rounded. But you'll notice a lot of times I wear a really beautiful tanzanite ring. That was a ring that my husband got me for my anniversary several years ago. So um, I didn't buy anything. We are saving for a big trip next year. We're going to go on a big trip, the two of us. And I'm super excited about that. So we're saving. Part of our anniversary present is going to be going on that trip. And we're also getting ready to hit to get out of town. We're going out of town for a couple of days. We're going away. So um, yeah, a little bit of a mini vacation. And my 10K giveaway video, I'm going to film it this weekend. It's probably going to be going live sometime during the week. I'm not too sure if it's going to go on like Tuesday or Thursday, but it will be published during the week. So my next video after this is my giveaway. You need to be subscribed and I have some really cool stuff. So I'm really excited about my, my 10K giveaway. So I hope, I hope you all watch it. I hope you all subscribe. And oh my gosh, this is really pretty. And so is this. This is really pretty. And so now stay tuned. This is about a six minute clip. It was Monday morning's sunset. Beautiful, beautiful. Let me know in the comments, what do you think of my ring? What do you think of the sun? I'm sorry, did I say sunset? Sunrise. What do you think of the sunrise? Tell me, I mean, wasn't that not magnificent? Just absolutely gorgeous. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for hanging around. I hope you enjoy the sunrise. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Hey, everyone. I came down to try to catch the sunrise. A little bit of a cloud covering, but before I show you that, I just wanted to show you the moon. That is the bridge going over to Hampton from Seabrook and that's the moon up there I can't really zoom in well with my cell phone but good night mr. moon and this is Hampton Harbor and this out there that's the jetty and over there is where the Sun is gonna come up I don't know what kind of a view I'm going to get today, but I want to try to share some of it. So you can see, as I get closer, look at how pink and orange. I don't know if the colors are going to show. Mauves. Oh my gosh. There's no one out here. But me, sand dunes. Bye-bye. I guess I scared it off, but there's still another one here.
sure the water is freezing. My pedicure, I really need to get my toes done. Oh, it's cold. Ah, oh, but isn't the world beautiful? Oh my gosh, it's just so gorgeous. Right, Mr. Seagull? Right? Do you agree it's gorgeous? Oops. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, that light out there is a boat. I think the tide's going out. I can't really tell. Ah, it's cold. I think depending on whether it's coming that away or if it's coming over here where that bank of clouds are. So if it's straight out here, I might not get a nice show. But look at the splash. Look how gorgeous the sky is. So, yeah, I'm having a feeling it's going to be right by those banks. But I'm hoping it's over there instead. Well, everyone's starting to wake up. We start to see lights on. It is getting lighter. But you know what? There's something about that special time, dawn, before everyone wakes up, even before the sun comes up. I just think dawn, it's just such a special time. Every time I come down here during this time frame, it just makes me reflect on my life. I marvel at the fact that I'm 65. Gosh, I remember when I was 14. You know, I remember those feelings when I was 15. I remember thinking 30 was old. And here I am, an old lady. 65. But you know what? I'm enjoying where I'm at right now in my life. I figured it could always be worse. <laughs> so, yeah. But I am a cup is more than half full type of a person. And I'm still standing here hoping that sun pops up in the next few minutes right where I can see it and not right where those banks are. It's me and the seagull waiting. The sun's up, but definitely behind all those cloud bankings. Unfortunately. So it's going to be a probably a very undramatic sunrise today on the East Coast. <laughs> right, Mr. Seagull? But the dawn was sure gorgeous. Oh, the colors. I'm back to the camper because I have to get ready. And I'm driving to Wyndham this morning. I have a meeting in Wyndham and then I'm teaching a class in our Wyndham office in the afternoon. So I need to get myself ready. <laughs> now I can really say good morning world because I see the sun above the clouds over there. Well, time for me to head back.